Hey everyone and welcome to today's session. For those of you in the Southern Hemisphere with me, I hope you have had a wonderful day and you are enjoying your evening. And for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere, I hope that you are having a wonderful start to your day. So I absolutely love Morgan Freeman, whether he is God in Bruce Almighty or he's the scientist in Lucy, he's got that voice and that resonance and it is always incredible the profound things that he says and I loved when I saw today's quote a message I just felt like that was something that you needed to hear that you are in total control of your life it can be so easy to listen to the thoughts and opinions of other people and whilst there is a time and a place to listen to what other people have to say and to get advice and insight and opinions from other people if you are always getting advice from other people if you are always taking the opinion and the guidance of everyone else and you're not giving yourself the opportunity to follow your gut instincts sometimes you're going to miss out on opportunities because that other person has their own fears and their own reservations about what you're asking advice and opinions on and for a lot of people, when they're giving advice and opinions, they're telling you what they would do or what they wouldn't do. And a lot of people will actually keep themselves away from opportunities. They will turn down opportunities because they're scared that they'll fail. They're scared that it will blow up in their face. They're scared that people will say, ha ha, told you so. But if you are presented an opportunity and it feels right, you've got to go with it. So when my stepmom found this job for me, I absolutely loved it. It was exactly what I wanted to do as an allied health assistant and it ticked all my boxes and I got the job to do two days a week and now someone is on leave and they need someone to work tomorrow um, in a different area that I don't mind traveling to and they're really grateful and they're really appreciative that I'm willing to travel and that I'm actually open to do more days. And while someone else might have an issue with the kind of work that I'm doing in the community, I love it. It is absolutely the best thing for me. So I want you to think of a time when you turn down an opportunity because everyone else said don't do it and you're kicking yourself now because that's exactly so years ago uh, my godfather uh, lives in a southern coast suburb of New South Wales and 20 years ago when he moved into the area plots of land were only like 10 I think $20,000 and now and even within like the last 10 years you can't buy a property in this particular suburb for less than $500,000 and my godfather kicks himself all the time that he didn't buy two or three pieces of land. That is the troublesome aspect of hindsight. It's a bitch. <laughs> and it takes prisoners of all shapes and sizes. 
So when you are true to yourself, you follow your gut instinct, you march to the beat of your own drum, you make things happen for yourself, you do things that other people wouldn't do. And, you know, that when you look at the A-list actors and, you know, the interviewer says, so where did everything start for you? And they were a waitress or they were a busboy of a night time. And all day they would go to auditions, hundreds of auditions and get turned down and get rejected and have, you know, a couple of hours sleep and then go be a waitress or a busboy, have a couple of hours sleep and then go and do more auditions. And one day, they just happened to land on the right role at the right time that shot them through the stratosphere. And now they're an A-list celebrity. And it's the same with anything. So many FIFO workers, so fly in, fly out, you are in the construction industry, you're working a nine to five job, and then one of the big companies, one of the big construction companies gets a contract. And they're gonna be working, you know, offshore, and they need FIFO workers. And the deal is you're gonna work 26 days away from your friends and family and life and do crazy shifts, and we're gonna pay you you know, a couple thousand dollars a week and you're going to be home for nine days. You could go anywhere in the world, really, for nine days as long as you're back here for your next rotation. And some people will do that and they'll do those crazy shifts and they'll work their butt off. And those nine days is, you know, they travel all across the world or, you know, that's what helps them become mortgage free with their family and they'll suffer a crazy work life for a couple of years if that means that they're mortgage free or their children have private tutors because doing a crazy work life being a FIFO worker it allows them to manifest the life they want you might be the person that you have a day job you have a night job, you have a weekend job. And some people think that you might be crazy working seven days a week at three different jobs, but working those three jobs seven days a week for you know one or two years is what allows you to save up a really good deposit and be able to have your own home and to have that independence. And you don't actually need the three jobs to pay the mortgage. That once you've got the mortgage, you might actually be able to give up the weekend job and get your weekends back. And sacrificing your weekends for one to two years was actually worth it to be in your own home. So I want you to start looking at opportunities that are presented to you. And I want you to really listen to your heart and your soul and your body. Because when universe presents opportunities to you, it's just going to feel right. You're not going to have any iffy feelings about it. You're not going to have any hesitations. You're ready to deep dive in and see where it goes. And as I said, it's okay to get advice and opinions. However, I would encourage you that your advice and your opinion is what you seek first and that someone else's advice or opinion is more of a validation for you that, yeah, absolutely go for it. And you're like, yeah, I am. And if their advice or their opinion is against you, I would question why. Why don't they want you to say yes? Why do they not want you to take that opportunity? What 
what will it mean for them? Because it might be something for them. You know, you getting your dream job, it might rub them up the wrong way because they're doing a job that it just pays the bills. They get up, they go to work, they come home, they spend some time with the family, they have dinner, they get their lunch ready, they go to bed, they do it all again. And it bugs them that someone they know wakes up every day and loves going to work and loves doing their job and looks forward to doing it again the next day. That is something within them. They, it just bugs them that how dare you get to do a job you love and I'm just doing a job that pays the bills. So when it comes to the work that you do or taking a job opportunity, if someone is against it, but you feel right about it, I would dig a little bit deeper about why they against it. It could be that, you know, you're currently working part time and that means that you're kind of at their beck and call. And so if you work full time, you're not going to be at their beck and call and they kind of like you being at their beck and call. So again, that's them. It's personal. It has nothing to do with you. It's, you know, all about them. So you are, hey Ollie, you are in total and complete control of your life. You are allowed to say yes to opportunities that feel right to you, that you feel really good about it. You feel really confident and really comfortable and there's no iffiness. And for some of you, that means that you're moving interstate. For some of you, that means you're moving overseas. For some of you, that means that you're moving in with your partner. For some of you, that means that you're getting a dog and you know that the dog is not just a Christmas present, that it is, you know, your fur baby for its life, but you are ready to be a fur baby parent. For some of you, it's going to be moving into a bigger home. For some of you, it's moving into a smaller home. For some of you, your children have left the nest and you have decided to downsize. And they're like, why do you need to move? And you're like, because it's only the two of us, we don't need a massive house. And they'll be like, oh, so where are we supposed to celebrate Christmas and stuff? So them not wanting you to downsize, it's about them. It has nothing to do with you. But if you and your partner are like, hey, the kids are gone. We can downsize. We can go get a little two-bedroom apartment, you know, um, that, you know, we can sell this house and we can be mortgage-free and we can enjoy our retirement and we can enjoy being in empty nesters. And if that decision feels right for you, you have to do it, irregardless of your kids' reservations or feelings. Like, they need to get over it. You can go to, you know, a, a function center and, and have Christmas together as a family or, you know, you, one of your kids will have a big house that that's where all the Christmases go to. Like you as mum, you know, you're still going to cook the, you know, the family lunch for Christmas. It's just everything gets done at your daughter's house or everything gets done at your son's house. So you are in total and complete control of your life and some decisions that you make throughout your life that feel fantastic for you that you wake up with a hop skip and a jump in your step and life is amazing for you you're going to that decision that life that you lead is gonna rub people up the wrong way it's going to offend people and it's going to be like oh you know I'm I'm watching Friends on Netflix and 
you know, I've heard about Friends and I've watched, you know, bits and pieces of episodes, but watching it from the very beginning and watching it all through, I find that Phoebe is such an amazing character. She has no filter. She says exactly what's on her mind. She doesn't care that she's offended you as long as she's told you the truth because she believes that the truth is so much more important than puffing up your ego. And that might be something that you do. The way that you live your life is so authentically you and makes you happy, you're going to rub people up the wrong way. You might have been raised in one particular religion, but as you grew up, that religion didn't really align with you and you have found your religion, that that way of life works for you. And whether that's Catholicism or it's Christianity or it's Buddhism or it's Shakism or it's Taoism or it's Islam or it's paganism or it's Jehovah Witness or, um, you know, <laughs> so many religions, what makes you happy, what allows you to be your authentic self, allows you to help others step into their authenticity. Because what happens is when you allow other people to control your life, you have to wear a mask. You have to pretend you're happy when behind closed doors you are a blib blubbering mess. You have to act like you like things when you don't like them at all. You have to act like you want to be here when you actually want to be here. And I'm telling you from personal experience, you can only wear the mask for so long before cracks start to form. And then one day, the mask comes off and you become your real self overnight and people think you've had a nervous breakdown and they don't understand that you've been wearing a mask your whole life of them knowing you. So I want you to start looking at the aspects of your life that you're not authentically you that you're not authentically yourself. Oh, there was a movie that Matt and I watched on Netflix months ago. And this girl meets this guy who's, you know, out of her league. And he's completely different to her. And she, you know, changes herself and wears a mask just to be with this guy. And when she finally reveals, you know, who she really is, he actually wants nothing to do with her. She's actually like a freak and a psychopath. And he's like, get, like he calls someone, he's like, can you please get her away from me? And what can happen is if you wear a mask and then <laughs> suddenly it comes off, you're going to lose friends and family because why were you wearing a mask for so long? Why, why weren't you, you know, telling me the truth? And I know, I know you don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. You don't want to make anyone feel bad and you feel guilty. However, when you are authentically yourself, people just know that that's you. You know, you watch the episodes where, you know, Phoebe scenes and you just know that Phoebe is authentically herself and everything that she says is so honest and so truthful and it's just Phoebe and they all love her and they all accept her and they know she's quirky and they know that she's out there, but she's one of their best friends. So you might need to 
get a diary and you might need to start writing out the different aspects of your life and really ask yourself, am I totally in control of my house? Am I totally in control of my bills and my expenses? Am I totally in control of the job that I choose to call my career? Am I truly in control of my relationship with my family? Am I truly in control with my friendships, with my friends? Am I truly in control with how I want my relationship to be with my partner? Am I truly in control of my morning routine, my daily routine, my evening routine? Am I truly the best version of myself? Am I being authentically myself in everything that I do? Now, there might be some areas of your life that you are smashing. You're smashing those areas. But there's other areas that need work. Now, you might be sitting there and thinking, Amy, I don't know where to start. Like for some of you, oh, I have hit you like a ton of bricks and I'm not sorry. You know, I never pre-plan the next day session. You know that when I'm speaking, universe is speaking to one of you beautiful people. And even if my message only applies to one of you who are listening, I've done my job for universe in getting through to you and helping you realize that you don't have to wear the mask, that you can be in control of your life. My stepmom and I, we had a big argument, probably, oh God, maybe a year ago where I was cleaning her house every week. She pays me to clean. And we got into a big fight. And I was like, I don't want to clean it. it. It was awful. It was an awful fight. And we negotiated and we compromised. And I do her, ha her house chores once a fortnight. And that works for us. And, you know, we moved past that argument. And I am authentically myself because I have my life, I do her chores, I do what I need to do, I have my rests and my recovery days. And we know that we have a respectful relationship. And sometimes you need to ask yourself, what are you willing and prepared to do? Sorry. You always get that one little hair that just wants to, you know, stick to your skin and bug you. <laughs> you need to ask yourself the question, who do I need to sit down with and have a heart to heart? What areas of my life are not serving me that I need to reclaim control of those areas of my life? Now, for some of you, you might need to see your doctor and get a blood test because you need to regain control over your health and well-being. For some of you, it's going to be seeing a counsellor or a psychologist or a psychiatrist to help you with your mental well-being. For some of you, it's learning to meditate or do Pilates or yoga and reconnect with your spirit. For some of you, it's having a deep and meaningful conversation with your parents or your children, or your partner, that these are the areas of my life that I love. These areas bring me so much joy, but these areas, I need to work on these areas. I need your help to help me work on these areas. Will you help me? Will you help me make these areas as good as these areas? Because I know, I know that there are areas of your life that are beautiful and they're absolutely incredible. And I know, I know 
There are areas of your life that you are totally in control and those areas of your life are amazing. However, the areas of your life that are not so good are dragging you down and they're holding you back and they're stopping you from really enjoying the joy that comes from all the happy areas of your life being every aspect of your life. So for those of you who are stuck and you want guidance on how to take the mask off in a healthy way and to become authentically yourself in a gentle way that doesn't freak everyone out, I want you to reach out to me and let's do a coaching session together. And let's work through the strategies that you need to incorporate to become the best version of yourself, to be the happiest, healthiest, most joyful, content and fulfilled version of yourself. I hope that you got incredible value out of tonight's session. I always value and appreciate you taking time out of your evening or time out of your morning to spend it with me. And as you're getting ready to wind down in the evening or you're getting ready to go to work, I really do hope that you're able to implement some of the tips from tonight. Some of you will join me in my Power Talk meditation tomorrow, 6 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. For the rest of you, I will see you tomorrow, 7.30 Australian Eastern Standard Time for our next session. As you know, I never pre-plan the next day's session, so I do look forward to what Universe wants to share with you. As always, be safe, be well, much love.